In this video, we will show you how to replace your power steering pressure switch on this Ford Fusion with a 3.0 liter engine. This will be located behind your front wheel well. Let's get into it. Okay friends, let's get started on our job. Locate the power steering reservoir under your hood. Inspect the seal. Set the cap aside. Once you've done that, the next thing you would want to do would be to flush out your power steering system with the manufacturer specified fluid. Now at this point, we have to safely raise and support the right front and remove the wheel. To do that, we'll be removing all five of our 19 millimeter lug nuts. Now once you have the wheel out of the way, we'll continue on by removing part of this plastic shield. We only really need to dislodge the rearward portion. To do that, you're going to find that you have a couple push clips. Removing the push clips is fairly easy overall. Just go ahead and pop free the center, it should unlock, and then you can remove the outer portion. Let's pull this down and out of the way. Now we can make our way into this area. We're looking for the electrical connector that goes on the power steering pressure switch along the bottom of the power steering pump. Go ahead, and squeeze on the locking tab and pull it out of place. A quick inspection and you can set that wiring harness aside. At this point, you want to make sure you have a collection bucket under the area. We're going to continue on using a 19 millimeter to remove that pressure switch. Fluid will come out of the power steering pump. Once you have that broken free, you should be able to turn it out by hand. There it is, friend. The next thing you'll want to do is clean and inspect the mounting point. Double check to make sure there's nothing lodged inside that area. And now we can continue on with the installation of our brand new pressure switch. We'll go ahead and bottom it out and then just make sure it's nice and snug. It does have an O-ring at the bottom. We want to make sure it's seated. Now I'm not going to continue trying to tighten this by holding onto the plastic area because I don't want to damage it in any way. Continue on with your 19 millimeter up along this area. There we are. Let's make sure that's nice and tight. Continue on with your electrical connector. We'll take this, put it in place, listen for a click, give it a little tug just to make sure it's secure. Go ahead and clean up your mess. Let's reinstall our shield. We have our two push clips. Align each of those two holes and then put the push clips in. Once you have the outer portion pushed in, lock it in by pressing in the center. Double check to make sure that's secure so it doesn't break free and rub against something that it shouldn't while you're driving down the road. Continue on to reinstalling your wheel. Start on all five of your 19 millimeter lug nuts, bottom them out, we'll get the wheel safely back down on the ground, and then we can torque each of these to 100 foot pounds. With the wheel safely on the ground, we'll torque these in a crisscross manner. Torqued. Let's make our way up under the hood. Continuing on under the hood, we'll be at the power steering reservoir. We have to fill up the power steering reservoir with the manufacturer specified fluid. Looking along the passenger side of that reservoir, you can see a small chart carved into the side. 
That's where we need the power steering fluid level to be at by the time we're done. Now what we're going to do is use a funnel. We'll continue on adding the power steering fluid into this area. After you've added it up to the maximum line, you need to make sure that you start up the vehicle, let it run for a short while, and then turn it right back off. Come out here and check that power steering fluid level. Typically, you will find that air made its way up and out and fluid made its way down, in which case you're going to have to add a little bit. Add it up to the maximum line. With that said, let's go ahead and add fluid. There we are. Once you've done all that, continue on to cleaning up your mess, closing the hood, and taking your vehicle for a road test. Thanks for watching. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.